Hello again, my name is Simon Müller. I'm product manager of Canoe Diva. Um, this time I'd like to show you how to validate uh, the parameter contents of diagnostic uh, services. So for that I go to diagnostic application parameters. I got three IOs in the VC one to one, which are uh, controlled by the module. Um, pretty much the same than we that we used um, than those that we used for uh, DTC setting. So there's one, for example, which simply uh, measures the voltage that is uh, on a digital input. So what I see here is I got that diagnostic parameter voltage. And now I can link that diagnostic parameter which with something that is from the outside world. So outside of diagnostics, outside of the module maybe. So an inpo input to the module. I can select here that it is an input. And then I can control what kind of input this is. So it is, this time I will use the VT system. So I select voltage, select the channel. So by that I did the connection between diagnostic parameter and uh, the real world input. So now I can configure sample values or test values for, for, for this combination. So I can say uh, if the analog input 14 is let's say uh, 2 then also my diagnostic value should be 2. If it is 3 do the same for diagnostic value, 4, do the same for diagnostic value. So by that I can bring different worlds together. So on the one side maybe voltage, on the other side maybe something else. Um, okay, so by that I did the mapping. What I can also configure is that uh, I want to maybe I have some measure, measurement um, um, difficulties or I'm not, not very precise at that so I can put a deviation in here. So I put uh, 0 0.2 0 .2 volts here. I can also configure how long it, how long, how much time it takes till the module should get the new value that is at the input. So I select one second here which should be uh, enough for that. Activate the service, and I do also configure that for uh, channel 15, which has almost the same functionality. It's also an input. Go on um, voltage. I go on analog 15. Okay, and I configure some sample values. So let's say this this time zero and maybe one. Okay. So I press generate and I get the new test module generated. Test uh, generation uh, completed. Uh, go back to canoe. Uh, start the measurement. Get the new module compiled, and also, uh, again this time I will find uh, those new tests under application. So there, I got a new um, category named parameter validation, and I got uh, five tests here for uh, for the parameters that I have configured. So deactivate the fault memory tests and then start the test. Okay, that's the test. Go back to Diva. Tells me I got a new test report. I'll open that. And I'll check the results. So we have four passed and one red. I go into that red one and 
So I see here the voltage is um, 0, 0 0.9 and um, measured at the diagnostic interface and it was set to 1 volt. Uh, as you might remember, I did not uh, uh, configure the deviation for that second parameter. So and therefore this, this result here is not uh, accepted. So the test itself starts like that. It stores the current um, I.O. state, it stimulates the input. I can also see that in the trace file. So I see here what, what is applied to the VT system. And then we use the diagnostic read service to read that parameter. Get the response and then we simply compare what happened and at the end we restore the previous uh, I.O. state. Okay, that's it for how to test parameters with VT system. Thank you.